Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to start a fasting focused lifestyle and why everyone needs to. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and make sure you check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And thanks for doing that. So I have to drive to take care of some errands here and I wanted to make this video, it's really important. Um, this is about how to start a fasting focused lifestyle and then I'm going to talk about some different routines, how to get started and then after that I'm going to talk about why this is so important. So if you're new to fasting or you've never done intermittent fasting, now this is something I've been doing for over three years now and I really recommend this for health purposes and it's a good way to maintain a healthy weight as well. So. What you'd want to do is, if you're new to this, is start out with a 12-hour routine. And this is very simple, very basic. This would be for the very beginners. Just eat your food in a 12-hour window and then have a 12-hour period where you do not eat. So let's just say you eat from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then you do have, you don't have any food after 7 p.m. Go to bed and then once you wake up, don't have any food before 7 a.m. That's a very easy way to get started. That's not really intermittent fasting, but it's a time-restricted time eating. Just to, It helps to make sure you're not snacking late at night and that your body at least has some time to recover before you're eating again. So that's very basic. That's a good way to get started. So start doing that and do that for maybe you know one week, maybe two weeks, just until you're comfortable with that and your body's used to it. Once you've got that down, where you're just eating in a 12-hour window and fasting for 12 hours, bumping up a notch to where you fast for 14 hours and eat in a 10 hour window. So let's say you start eating at 9 a.m. and then you finish eating by 7 p.m. So that would be the next step. Work on that and do that for a couple of weeks until you, and you're gonna get used to that pretty, that's gonna be a pretty simple transition from the 12 hour fast. And again, this helps it to make sure you're not eating at night. It's giving your body time to rest and recover. And um, you're going to start, there, there's going to be some health benefits even just by fasting for 14 hours a day. There's been studies that have even shown that just fasting 14 hours a day can be very beneficial for health. So once you get used to that, do that for a couple of weeks, you're just taking this one step at a time. Then move on to the 16-8 routine. Which this is probably the most popular intermittent fasting routine where you fast for 16 hours and you have an eight hour eating window. So let's say you eat from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then you fast 16 hours, whatever works with your schedule. Uh, I do this sometimes and this can work for a lot of people, with a lot of people. Um, depending on what, what your goals are, if you have weight to lose, you're gonna need to go, you're gonna need to do something that's more extreme than that, even though that's not extreme whatsoever. But the 16-8 routine is really popular, um, especially if you're like an athlete, if you're doing a lot of training, the 16-8 routine would probably work very well, and that's maybe all you'll need to do um, as far as on a daily basis. Now, what I generally do is something more like the 18-6 routine, where there's an 18-hour fast and a six-hour eating window. Um, so that would be the next step if you wanna move on to that step. And that works well for me, usually eating twice in a six hour window and fasting for 18 hours. It allows for some autophagy. There's, there's just um, a little bit more health benefits that come, come with that, I believe. Um, so that's generally what I do. Sometimes I do a four hour eating window and what you can do is gradually move up the ladder as you get used to fasting each day. These, this will become easier. So I'm generally in that four to eight hour window just because I do a lot of exercising. Um, sometimes I just eat once a day, which is really popular, especially if you need to lose weight, just confining your meal to a one hour eating window. But once you lose the weight and you just want to maintain long-term health, and if you're very active, that could be pretty tough. So that's why generally I'm eating in that four to eight hour window. Now, if you are someone that really needs to lose weight, you could do something like alternate day fasting. And that's where you essentially, you, you eat one day, and then the next day you don't eat. And then the next day you eat, so you're eating every other day. That is really great for weight loss. I've seen a lot of success stories on alternate day fasting. 
Um, and that's something you can work your way up to if you don't want to just jump right into it. Um, I don't practice that just because I'm, I'm way too active for that. But I do recommend that for people that need to lose more weight and that are, you know, not as active. But I recommend losing the weight, getting active, getting to that point, and then you can, you can sort of lower, lower the fasting window back to something like eating once a day or maybe the, the six-hour eating window once you've lost the weight and you need to sustain a certain amount of energy. Because I've noticed that if I stay to one meal a day, um, it works at first for me, but then after a while, I, I'm, I don't have as much energy. So I find that the four to eight hour window works the best if you've lost the weight and you're really active. So again, people like athletes, people who are very active, um, definitely recommend that um, four to eight hour eating window. And then of course I recommend occasionally doing you know a two to three day fast this maybe you can do something like once a month or every other month, doing a longer fast because there's, it helps, it helps basically repair your body, um, clean out your body and clean out your digestive system. And um, there's a lot of long-term health benefits. So I throw in those, you know, two day fasts, maybe once or twice a month, not once or twice a month. I do it maybe once a month or every other month I do a longer fast like that. So those are some different fasts. You can work your way into it by starting with just a 12-hour fast and then bump your way up. Even when you're at an ideal weight, I still recommend on occasion doing a two- to three-day fast for long-term great health. Now, the reason why this is so important, and especially right now, is because of what's going on with the state of the world and, and people that are getting sick from this. Uh, I'm not going to say specifically, but I think you know what I'm talking about. So what you need to understand is disease is within our control. So this, this is within our control. This is not something that is coming from the outside making us sick. This is something that if you're clean on the inside by regularly fasting, eating majority healthy foods, lots of organic fruits and veggies and things like that, and getting lots of exercise, breathing fresh air, you're not, there's not going to be an issue. You're not going to get real sick from colds and flus. It just won't happen. And I know this for a fact because I've, this has happened, I've seen it myself and I've heard of a lot of success stories. So even back when I changed to a healthier diet before I was fasting, I was still getting sick a couple times a year. This, when I finally stopped getting sick actually is when I started living a fasting focused lifestyle and I combined that with a healthy diet and I was always exercising. So I was always exercising. About eight years ago I started eating better but I was still getting sick a couple times a year. Once I added in the fasting, that's when I stopped getting sick. So I know for a fact this works because I've seen it myself. Other people around me are sick, I never get any symptoms. So try this out. Incorporate this lifestyle. Try combining fasting with healthy food, exercise, get out into nature, breathe fresh air, get good sleep, all these things, and see what happens. Try it for yourself. And I think you're going to be very happy about this. Um, so the other thing I want to mention too real quick here is... <clears throat> You need to stay active and move your body pretty much all the time. Um, sitting down is the worst. Now, of course, I'm sitting right now. It's 3 o'clock. I woke up at 7 a.m. I have not sat down until just now. So I've, I've, I've either been walking or standing the entire day. Um, I do have a desk job, but I have a standing desk. So if you have a desk job, get a standing desk. That's, that's the number one thing you want to do if, if you're working at a desk. Um, and then, of course... Do some intense exercise at least one, you know, once a day, work out, and then go, go on lots, lots of walks, stretch out, because when you're moving your body and standing and stretching and exercising, it's moving your lymphatic fluid, <clears throat> so it helps move, move your uh, lymphatic system. And if you're just sitting and being sedentary, 
that's when things in your body can really lock up. So lots of stretching, walking, hiking, exercising, swimming, biking, whatever. But the important thing is you want to move your body. You do not want to sit around. Even if your job wants you to sit, you want to make sure you stand. So that is a huge important factor of health is to not sit. I can't stress that enough. I only sit for maybe maybe 30 minutes a day. I mean, unless I have to go somewhere longer in my car. But besides that, on a rare occasion, I'm basically standing or, you know, standing or walking or exercising the entire day. So take the, the power is within you. OK, so you need to take take the power. You need to take a stand. You need to try this out. This whole thing that's going on is ridiculous. Sickness is not something that comes in and invades us. It's something that happens because we, we are not living a healthy lifestyle. That is just the number one thing you need to remember. So take the power back. Your health is in your hands. Okay? So move your body. Don't sit. Practice fasting. Eat healthy. Breathe fresh air. Think positive thoughts. That's pretty much all I have to say on this one. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. And we're going to see everyone soon. Have a great day. Bye.